So I woke up this morning to a funny message. Last few days, Sifu Freddy Lee has been talking a lot online about how Jackie Chan's movies reinforce racism against Chinese people and how he's just, you know, being a goofball and making money off of um, jokes at the Chinese expense. And so, you know, I pointed out to him that, um, you know, Jackie Chan is not a good looking guy. He's a real homely looking guy. And, you know, guys that, that aren't good looking, they've only got, you know, so many options and stuff. And he had been trained from a childhood to be an entertainer. And so what were his options as an ugly guy? One of them, and you see this all the time, is that he used to go into comedy. You know, people that don't look good and they want to be entertainers might go into comedy. And uh, so that was the route that Jackie Chan chose. Um, and then, you know, Sifu Freddy mentioned that, mentioned what I'd said in, in another of his videos. And then somebody who saw it came onto my um, YouTube channel and Op you know, opened a video that had nothing to do with Jackie Chan and wrote a comment in there that if Jackie Chan's ugly, I'm ugly or something like that. And, uh, you know, to me, it's pretty funny because the whole reason that I was able to identify with Jackie Chan is because I am not a good looking guy. Um, and I know what that's like and I know what a difference that simple appearances can make in this world. Um, you know, when I was a kid, growing up, I was really the ugly duckling. I mean, I'm still not a good-looking guy. I just get by, uh, kind of average now at this point. But <clears throat> when I was a kid, man, I was the ugly duckling. I had, I looked like, you know, Butthead from Beavis and Butthead. I had the big uh, hair. I was skinny. I had, you know, funny-looking face features. I had braces on my face, I had big old thick glasses, and um, I had all homemade clothes. Like, you know, I'm really happy today to have clothes like this, even a nice, nice uh, golf shirt. When I grew up, I had these golf shirts my mom made, and the collar was like, you know, it was huge, and everybody else's shirt had those little alligators, so, but my alligator was like, it's like two inches long. It was ridiculous. Um, you know, now, you know, at the time I was kind of humiliated to have those homemade clothes. Now looking back at it, you know, I think my mom was awesome for home making all of our clothes. But in any case, at that time, you know, when I was getting to be a teenager and stuff, all these things were major drawbacks to me. I couldn't get a girlfriend and, you know, I wasn't really popular and all this stuff because I was ugly. And then when I turned 16, you know, my parents gave me a, a, a huge gift and they got my braces taken off. They bought me contact lenses. Um, they got me, you know, regular haircut. They gave me 300 bucks and let me go to the mall and buy real clothes and and they got me a car and just like that I mean like real literally like that within one week my life totally changed around and it had nothing to do with who I am as a person it had everything to do with simple appearances um, I was ugly and then I was able to look normal and just like that, I had girlfriends, I was becoming more popular, and, you know, that year, I don't even know how many girlfriends I had. I had, I had a, a bunch of different girlfriends that year. Um, so, that's the difference that appearances can make, and I know what that's like. So, when I see Jackie Chan and what he's doing, I can identify with him and why he chose the path that he chose. Um, myself, you know, I wasn't interested in being an entertainer. If I was, 
maybe I would have went into comedy. Um, but, you know, what I went into was academics, which is another kind of field that ugly people can go into. Ugly people go into academics. Um, because it doesn't take looks to write a good paper, you know? So, <clears throat> you know, people's looks make a huge difference in this world, you know, bigger than, than people would want to admit. Um, they make a tremendous difference. I mean, look at what's going on right now, again, with the film industry. You've got Johnny Depp, who's considered to be a really good-looking guy. You know, all these women like Johnny Depp. And he's done this film where he's, you know, he's playing Tonto from The Lone Ranger, and he's dressed up like a fucking idiot, um, all painted and has this big crow on his head. I mean, even the original Tonto was a better Tonto than Johnny Depp because he didn't portray portray natives in that you know in that way. Johnny Depp has taken um, racism in film, contemporary racism in film, to totally new heights with his portrayal of Tonto. Um, why did they even hire Johnny Depp? They could have hired someone like Adam Beach or some you know a native actor. They hired Johnny Depp to do the part, and then he. And then he does this great big goofy crow on the head thing. At Disney, they're selling these fucking wigs with the crow attached so that people, you know, kids can can uh, play Tonto. It, it, it's tremendously racist, but he can get away with it because he's good looking Johnny Depp. You know, there might be a little bit of flack that was thrown his way, but, you know, it's not gonna sink his career because he's Johnny Depp, so he can get away with being a, a stupid racist, you know, like the biggest racist on film today. He can get away with that. You know, he's definitely not a smart guy. And yet, you know, he's gonna be wicked famous and it's, it's mainly for looks. You know, you look at somebody like Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves, you know, his acting, in my opinion, is, is terrible. Yet, he's a good looking guy, so he can get some roles. He got pretty famous. You know, the, the appearances make a world of difference. So that's all I was saying with Johnny Depp. Somebody wants to point out that I'm ugly, I'll just agree with them. You know, that's all there is to say. Because I know, I know what it's like to be the ugly guy. And uh, I don't mind that that's pointed out. Kudos for you, dude. And that's all I gotta say.